Well, the votes are in. So what am I using, pray tell? I will tell you. Wrap around, pull it through. Well, hello, all of you beautiful boho-ish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Boho-ish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Ah, oh, I love days like this, where it's just a cool, gentle breeze, and the sun is shining, and my dog is barking. Yeah. It's heavenly. Well, the votes are in. If you saw my community post or my short, then you know that it is the Boho Footstool. And I am very excited about doing this project because I've wanted it to be finished for quite some time. I just think it's going to be absolutely lovely when it is all completed. The great thing about sharing this project with you is that any of y'all can do it. It's not difficult and it is just an amazing way to refresh an old cushion, an old footstool. You know, you don't have to have the same stool that I have. Anything that you have that you can safely hot glue the fabric cording to, you can do this project on. So we're gonna get started. I will explain to you what I'm doing, what I've done thus far, and then you'll be able to see it all completed. So what you need for this DIY project, you need a surface that you wanna cover, obviously, and then you're going to want fabric um, any kind of fabric. As I'll show you, I used fabric from an old rag rug. To me, it was the best way for me to get the most fabric. You can use old scarves. You can go to Goodwill and you can hit them up for old sheets, anything. Just rip them into strips. You just need strips of fabric. You can even do this with denim. Um, it does get a little difficult to crochet the denim at times, but then again, it does get a little difficult when pieces of this fabric is a little more thicker than the others and trying to pull it through but you know i'll show you all of that so you need surface to cover material fabric to use and a hot glue gun glue and you need a crochet hook we just found this gray just imagine this not being on here okay this is all that i have accomplished on this project it was, it's just a gray kind of velvety footstool that I think we got at Ross. Um, this would work on any footstool that it has fabric or even like a wood. I mean, it was staring at this footstool one day and thinking, I am so sick of the plain gray. I want something that's more my, my aesthetic, my style. And that's when I came up with doing this. So what am I using, pray tell? I will tell you. Now, I've already taken it completely apart. I wish I still had had it together so that you could see what I'm talking about. But you know those braided rugs that you can find? Um, gosh, I think you can find them at Aldi. They're like those rugs from India. They're just the braided rag rug, right? Well, I had a very large one. Uh, probably about uh, five by three. You know, they're not easy to wash, all the things. And I just got to where I just didn't want it anymore. So I just tore it apart. I clipped all the uh, strings. I took out all the fabric. And the fabric pieces are basically just these long pieces of sari or scarves. There's some cottons in here, and you get some of the most beautiful color combinations. So, yeah, that's what I did. I took the whole rug apart, took all of the fabric, because we had walked on that rug for probably three years, and then I just washed it 
on hot, threw all the pieces in the dryer, separated them all, which is kind of a pain because they do get stuck together, the little threads and stuff. You know how the laundry can be. But then once they were taken apart, I ended up with all these beautiful pieces of fabric. So then what I do is I tie the ends of the pieces of fabric together. And I will show you this, okay? But I just kind of wanted you to get an idea. I do a very simple crochet stitch. I almost can't talk today. And make long ropes out of crochet when I have enough then I go and hot glue it to my stool. Ophelia keeps interrupting me. She wants more peanuts. So pardon me a moment. This is my crochet hook that I'm using for this project. I crochet a lot but this one is my largest one and it's 11.5 and I find that it's the perfect size uh, to do what I am doing I like how it looks I take the cords that I've crocheted and then I just run a line of hot glue around attaching the cords and I'm gonna do that all the way down and maybe right around this bottom ledge so that it, it looks completely finished. So, you have your strips. They're all clean and ready to go. What you're gonna do, instead of tying like the whole strip like this together because that makes it really thick and difficult to get it through you know when you're when you're crocheting what I do is I just take the corner of each piece of fabric just the corner because it's thinner and it's easier to work with and then I just tie that into a knot to make sure it's nice and secure and the thing I really like about this is when you're crocheting and then you get these little pieces that are hanging out from the fabric that's left from when you tied the corners, you know, that are left from when you tied them together. It just gives it a really cool feel. I'm going to do my best to teach you, if you don't know how to crochet, the very simple chain that I use to make this rope. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your piece of fabric when you're first starting your chain. You're gonna take these two fingers. You're gonna wrap it around and grab this piece. You see, it's just wrapped around. I'll do it again. You're just gonna wrap it one, two, and then you're gonna grab this piece. You're gonna take your hook. You're gonna put it like this and see what I did? I put it under the first loop and I'm pulling this second loop through. You see what I did there? Still holding on to that little tail and that has given me my first loop, okay? So now you've got a little loop. Then what you're going to do, grab this tail. All you're gonna do is just Wrap the fabric around, grab this first hoop, pull it through. Wrap around, pull it through. You see, wrap around, pull it through. And then you end up with your little braided rope. If I didn't go through it well enough for you, there are a lot more capable people who can instruct you on how to crochet on YouTube. I would just say look up easy crochet, but really this is very simple. It's not, it's not difficult at all to do. All right, so again, I'll start from this end. I'll show you one more time. Those of you that already know how to crochet, just bear with me. But for those of you who don't, I don't want you to be discouraged from trying this project. So you're gonna take your fabric, 
You're gonna grab it with your thumb and your two fingers. Wrap once, wrap twice. Okay, gonna hold it. You're gonna take your hook, go up under the first wrap, and then you're gonna pull through the second wrap, and there's your hoop. And then you're just going to do what I taught you as far as how to pull it through, okay? What I did want to mention that I forgot to mention when I was showing you how to make the rope is have all of your pieces of fabric, well, not all of them, but have quite a few pieces of fabric already tied together before you begin crocheting. It will make your life so much easier. Um, I don't like to try to attach too long of a cord at once, you know, hot gluing it onto the stool or onto whatever surface you choose. Um, I probably like to have about, I don't know, three to five feet of rope segments. It's just easier for me to handle. If I had a 20 foot rope section, <laughs> that would be a nightmare for me anyway, maybe not for other people. You do you, you find what works best for you. But I find if I keep the segment smaller, it's easier for me to manipulate when I go to hot glue it on. So now that I have all of my braids finished, I'm going to begin hot gluing them onto the footstool. This is a very exciting time for me. I'm really looking forward to having this project completed. I think it's going to look pretty amazeballs, so. a side note when you are hot gluing your ropes onto your surface you're going to have some braids that are skinnier than others don't worry about that that actually adds to the look I'll show you what I mean see how some are thicker than others because you have different fabric pieces different types of fabric that you're working with and that is okay also remember how i talked about the little extra pieces of fabric the little knots and things that would stick out i love that if you don't you could probably always go back and trim them but i really like the surface like this She's all finished. Uh, I just absolutely love her. So, was she hard to do? I wouldn't say that this is a difficult project by no means. It's just very simple crochet very simple hot gluing. I think what can be a challenge is it's incredibly time consuming. When you think that you need to um, crochet all of the fabric pieces together and then hot glue them all on. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I now have a one of a kind boho footstool that nobody else has. And I just love looking at her. I just think she's so beautiful. <laughs> and she makes me happy because of all the colors 
and the little knots and things of that nature. So it was worth every moment of it. Let me know in the comments if you all are gonna try something like this. You know, I was thinking last night, I was talking to Sean and I said, you know, I would love to do this like on top of pillows and things. Like so that. my mind just started going all over the place. I started looking around the house. What can I do? <laughs> so yeah, it was a very fulfilling DIY for me and I hope it will be for you as well. So if you decide that you're gonna do this, please let me know. I am on Instagram at bohoishme. You can always upload your, you know, post your photo and then just tag me in it so that I can see what you all have done. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. It was really a lot of fun for me to finally get that one project completed. Very happy with the results. I hope that you are too. If you decide that you wanna do it yourself, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you're seeing on my channel, also consider subscribing. If you do, don't forget to boot the bell. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.